What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can get high stats armor as a solo player. Each and every season we have brand new sources and more efficient ways to get armor. So if you're new to Destiny or returning after a hiatus, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now each and every week on a regular basis, I get asked how and where to get high stat armor. Each and every season, the landscape changes as we get new activities and new sources to earn our armor. Season of the Deep is no different. So today we're going to take a look at high stats, what they mean, how to get the stats you want, and where's the best place to earn them. Now with the reworked mod system, build crafting is more important than ever in Destiny 2, and so are your armor stats. These help make your builds more powerful and more efficient, so naturally you want to get the highest stats possible. Now in general, high stats are any armor pieces with a stat total of 60 or higher. But with that being said, if you're deep into build crafting, you'll most definitely want to be aiming for mid 60s at a minimum. Now all the armor in Destiny 2 will come with randomized stats, and these are across six different stat types. We have mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength. Now, depending on the class of guardian that you're running, there are preferences for each class. For example, mobility helps to improve the hunter dodge cooldown, with resilience improving the titan barricade cooldown, alongside recovery improving the warlock's rift cooldown. Now, whenever you receive an armor piece, stats are divided between those six, but they aren't entirely random. In fact, they're separated into two stat pools, with the game separating the distribution between them. So in one pool, you'll have mobility, resilience, and recovery. And in the second pool, you'll have discipline, intellect, and strength. So what happens is when your armor drops, the overall stat total is split roughly in half and divided between those two pools. Now it's with that in mind, you can influence the stats that are granted by using the armor mods on your Go Shell. Now these cost between three and four energy and you'll have one for each stat. Now whichever one you equip on your Ghost will mean you are guaranteed a minimum of 10 of that stat whenever an armor piece drops. So with the Warlock being my main class currently, I often have a Discipline mod equipped to help deliver a higher stat distribution on that particular stat. So that's a quick recap on what high stat armor is and how you can influence it between the two stat pools. But as the title of the video suggests, what are the best sources as a solo player in Season of the Deep? Now, unlike in previous seasons, there is no vendor upgrade paradigm. You will find unlockable bonuses, though, that you can earn by completing seasonal challenges. These can grant things like extra keys from completing activities or even the new Season of the Deep engram. Now, you can earn the new seasonal engram by completing pretty much any activity in the game, whether that be the brand new dungeon Ghosts of the Deep which in itself drops some really high stat armor. Now, naturally, soloing a dungeon isn't the top of everyone's list, especially if the armor is the only thing you're focusing on. But in general, you can earn a mass amount of engrams just by completing the salvage and deep dive activities. These are the two new seasonal activities for Season of the Deep. And it's with that in mind, the deep dive activity even has tiered loot. Now this scales all the way up until tier 5 and as a result will grant you an extra chest on top of even more seasonal rewards. Now to gain access to this loot you'll need to keep an eye out for Toland in each of the main combatant zones. He'll be located either on the far left, far right or the dead center as you enter each of the arenas. Now all three members of the fire team will need to interact with Toland and this will activate a new challenge. Now this challenge will either require you to just take out blights or rotate it around the arena and collect pools of light. Now this challenge is on top of the original encounter requirement so you are in a race against time but once you take out all the blights or collect all the pools of light you'll see the on-screen prompt and Zivu Araf will respond with some narrative. Now as you complete these you'll see the tiered loot on the left hand side of your screen and as we mentioned earlier, you'll need to locate in each of the major combatant zones and complete each of the challenges in those areas to further increase your tiered loot. Now, as you increase the tiers, it also increases the difficulty of the combatants. So you'll definitely want to go in well equipped with some hard hitting ad clearing weapons on top of cycling your supers as efficiently as possible. Now, the great thing about deep dive, it is a match made activity. So whilst you may not always be able to get tier five loot, you should at least be able to reach tier 3 or 4 fairly easily. 
Now, once you've earned a small amount of seasonal engrams, you can decrypt these over in the helm. Now, you do have a choice to focus your engrams into a specific armor piece, but in order to unlock all the armor pieces, you first need to unlock an entire armor set. That means you'll need to hand in engrams randomly until you have a full armor set unlocked. But once you've done that, you'll be free to focus your engrams into any armor piece that you want. And whether you require an RNG for a random armor piece or you focus it, all of these drop with very decent armor stats and distributions. Most are mid 60s with some mid to high mid 60s. And naturally, we are looking for the spiky stat distributions. Thankfully, these are in abundance when it comes to Season of the Deep armor. And some armor focusing that you may have forgotten about would be the armor focusing from Season of Defiance. Last season, focusing your engrams into armor didn't provide many sources for high stat drops. But since the launch of Season of the Deep, that is no longer the case. You can in fact get some really nice stats from last season. And if you played a lot of Destiny upon the launch of Lightfall, you may have a mass amount of Season of Defiance engrams just sitting at the war table over in the helm. So if you do, then be sure to head over there as well and focus on any armor piece that you need. And as you can see, these also drop in and around the mid 60s. Now, those are some of the best PVE sources. But what if you're a big Crucible player and you spend a lot of time with either Lord Shax or Lord Saladin? Well, this week, as of the time of posting this video, Iron Banner is in rotation. Iron Banner is an exclusive Crucible event that is available at least three times a season. Now, Iron Banner also drops Iron Banner engrams, has a mass amount of armor that you can earn or focus on. And these can also drop with some high stat distributions. Now you can earn a lot of Iron Banner engrams from ranking up Lord Saladin over in the tower and you do this by earning XP by completing Iron Banner matches. Now Iron Banner is a 6v6 game mode and no longer has a freelance option. Bungie has made a lot of changes to matchmaking so if you do squad up as a team you are more likely to face a team. So if you are going to go in there solo then you're highly likely to have other solo players as well making for a more fun and enjoyable experience. Iron Banner this season has some of the best loot on offer. We have two weapons, a shader, and probably one of the best looking emblems we've ever seen. These are all extra bonuses that you can earn passively by playing plenty of Iron Banner on top of a lot of the engrams that you can use to focus to earn some of those high stat armor pieces. But overall, there's never been a better time to get high stat armor, especially as a solo player, with a lot of the more accessible game modes offering some very juicy rewards. So there we have it guys, a good look on how you can get your hands on some high stat armor as a solo player in Destiny. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to be to the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.